gamers and game that's what is going on my name is tenek127 and welcome back to another video surprise what game is this that we have on our screen a game that probably hasn't been showcased on my channel for nearly a year maybe a little bit less probably about 10 or 11 months but pretty close to a year good old neverwinter and i figured no better time than my recent um return to the xbox platform to check the game out on the first console it launched on now keep in mind guys on xbox one it has a year advantage over the playstation 4 version it came to xbox one first so you know clearly this version is going to have you know some advantages and stuff like that like a stronger community and for the simple fact that this was the only free to play mmo on xbox one for a long time it's got a lot bigger of a player base and a more open open community. So I just want to say that up front. You know, not that anyone thinks, you know, I'm bashing the PS4 version and all, and all that kind of stuff. Because now i got to get these little disclaimers out of the way. But um, I've been playing it some more recently, as you guys can, um, can see. Uh, my background with Neverwinter, long story short, um, I was actually covering it as a content creator for a good while. It's... Initially, the game that helped my channel lift off. Um, I do have end game experience. I have completed probably two of the, I think, nine or ten expansions on Neverwinter. So my experience really isn't that great. I've the highest I've ever been in Neverwinter is probably around a six or seven thousand gear score. That was around. That's that's the maximum I've hit. So you know, a lot of the newer content and stuff like that, I'm pretty. I'm pretty behind on. I've I've been out of the loophole for a while with Neverwinter, so I'm not going to sit here and play, you know, Mr. Neverwinter expert and stuff like that. If you guys want, you know, die-hard, really good, knowledgeable Neverwinter YouTubers, I'll be sure to link two down in the description below. Um, actually, actually, no, three or four. There's um, you have Garland X, you have Nova DVZ, you have Cali Gold, Gold, and you have Effenhusa 57. All four of these guys are really amazing Neverwinter content creators, and if you guys want the most up-to-date Neverwinter stuff, be sure to check them out. I'll leave links to all their channels in the description below. But what we're going to talk about today is my impressions of Neverwinter just jumping back into the game in 2018. And um, I still stand by Never my Neverwinter review to this day. The game is an 8.5 out of 10, and it's just been growing and enhancing ever since. They are slowly making improvements, and I have to give Cryptic Studios... Um, cryptic and perfect world I have to give them and our games I have to give them props for that because this game is expanding really well um, the way they're doing their content and they've even fixed some of my complaints like um, one of my biggest complaints about Neverwinter was I hated its daily questing system when you get to endgame I still hate that system don't get me wrong I think it needs to change I think it needs to go I think they finally need to make an expansion where they do something completely new and just get rid of that daily questing just stuff I, I hate it I'm sorry that's my biggest pet peeve with Neverwinter but on the bright side they did do one thing that made these daily quests seem more worth your while the fact that the boons you earn for them for who those who don't know what boons are they're like stat advantages that you do that you get for completing these daily quests of the expansions they now increase your gear score which is a wonderful thing because it now makes these daily quests feel meaningful instead of um instead of tedious like if you've been playing neverwinter for a long time when they did this update you probably noticed that your gear score one day just randomly went up tremendously well that's because they added that um that system and they've even made some improvements to pvp with their new um with their new uh their new ad sort their new their new update swords of shult they've um they've added a little bit of housing into this game just your um your guild stronghold is now a, a big house i personally would like to see a real housing system come to this game um that you know that that's a good start it's a step in the right direction but i think you know a game as on biggest scale as this and as long as this game is going to be around i think you know a, a um a personal housing system would be a would be a good thing you know give players something else to invest in something more to do and stuff like that and it'll be good a good thing to um, keep people busy while they're working while they're waiting for you know the next mod or expansion to come out but um besides the daily questing thing one of my biggest issues with neverwinter and this is the reason i use the footage from this dungeon especially is it doesn't seem to 
cater to new players unless they're spending money on the game. Now, if you download Neverwinter and you buy between one to six months of VIP, you'll be happy. You'll get trade bars, chests and everything thrown at you, dungeon keys and all that stuff, lockbox keys and stuff every day tossed at you. But if you're, if you're not doing that, you know, you're just going for the core free to play experience. You don't get all those bonuses. Now, before I get into that, I'll give Neverwinter one thing. It's the only free to play MMORPG I've seen so far. Well, besides, um, besides Terra, of course, where you can purchase any of the paid stuff in the game, anything that's paid for with money by grinding in game. You take the currency that's called Astral Diamonds and you convert them to Zen. Now the grind will be long and tedious, but I'm just saying, Neverwinter is the one of the only MMORPGs I've seen that actually give you the ability to full on grind. Like everything you want in this game, even a VIP membership, you can grind it out monthly to pay for it if you really want to. So, bravo, Congrats, hats off to them for that because that's a really, really good thing. Regardless how tedious the grind is, it's possible, doable. I personally know because I've done it. Grinding out a month of VIP on Neverwinter isn't really isn't too too difficult. But um, the thing is, this game doesn't really seem to cater to its new players. Now it's good for you know holding its concurrent player base, but as in attracting new players, I think that's a little bit where it lacks and. Like I was saying earlier, the reason I picked this dungeon run is because notice how it's me, a level 20 plus, and I got two 70s here that are nerfed to nerfed to 19. Well, even though it says that they're nerfed to level 19, they're still running through here like they're 70. As you can, as can see, they're pretty much one-shotting everything. I can barely keep up. Oh, also because I'm injured so partially, I'm to blame for that. But they're just smoking and demolishing everything. That, as a new player or a supposed new player that ruins the core experience for me. I have no clue how this dungeon works. I have no clue of the mechanics because these two guys with me just have the ability to burn through everything. And that's another prime example of what I'm talking about is I think the game does need to cater a bit more to the newer players because one thing about MMOs is yes, you want to hold in your current fan base, but you also want to be able to attract new players. That's how you grow your community. That's how you get the game bigger. When people are complaining, hey, we don't have enough tanks, healers, and stuff like that. We need more of this class on this game. We need more of that class on this game. Well, that's kind of where new players come into play. There are people who browse the free-to-play stores of Xbox and PlayStation every day, and Neverwinter is probably one of the, if not the biggest free-to-play MMO on both of these consoles. And problem, and maybe one of them even on PC. But if you're not doing what's necessary to you know to attract a to attract a new audience, then it's going to it's going to lack a bit. But overall, I still think Neverwinter is a very fun game. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming it sometimes. Maybe invest a bit of time, a little bit more time into it because I do want to get back into this. This is not my way of promising that I'm going to bring Neverwinter videos back, but I will be streaming it occasionally on Mixer. So if you guys do want to see me play Neverwinter, be sure to follow me on Mixer. Link will be in the description below. But um, yeah, if you're um, looking for a good MMORPG, especially to hold you out till Terra gets here, be sure to check out Neverwinter. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out, take care.